Hello, all you beautiful people out there. My name is Emmanuel, and welcome back to another video. We're now back at it again with some more gameplay. I thought it was time to check out the new update. I've heard that there is a new update and that there are new items we can sell. And I also thought maybe setting up some delivery drivers. Uh, very simple. I'll make a tutorial on that one later as well. But in this video, I'll also try to set them up and see how it goes. Um, if I click on settings and change log, I can read the new update. Added a variant property to build mode to build mode to allow for more stuff. New sellables: baked goods, donuts, bread, and pie. All right, so we can now sell food. That's interesting. Or I mean, baked goods. Um, change truck loading logic to better prioritize what's needed. Fixed build. Blah 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 blah. Doesn't care about the fixing. Anything else new? No. Nope. Doesn't seem so, but what we know is that there are new sellables. So I thought this time we're actually gonna build our food store and we're gonna sell down spread pie as well as the fruit. And I got a whole lot of customers right now, my goodness. Uh, okay, so where do you want the food store? That's a good question. Let us start by, um, actually we're gonna, we can put it right now in this poll. Let's, let's make a food store right here. And yes, I, I'm totally aware of it. Uh, this store right now looks a bit... It looks weird, okay? And don't play my fountains, it's for decoration purposes. Uh, it looks weird, indeed, but... I guess it works. Uh, it works, it works. Okay. So we need to expand a little bit if you want some food. Let's make three. Maybe we should build it on the side here because it might look better to build it on the side. Uh, let's build it here. It looks fine over here. Uh, let's build it here. I'm a bit indecisive, but that's fine, I guess. <laughs> um, all right, so we want the food store to be like open. We want an open space. Just delete some of these. Uh, yes, we can do normal concrete. Because I feel like concrete is like quite quite fine for a food store. Like this maybe. And then I gotta check out some. I gotta go to stock shelves and I gotta see what kind of fruit we have. So we have still all the same amount. Wait, where do we sell the new? Guess okay, so the baked goods are in. In the shelves, anything else new? Video games. And we got baked goods in the freezer bin. So, okay. Let's start by building 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Let's buy 10 of these large bins. I can also change the look of those, which is cool. Let's try to make it some birch color. All right, so we need a few produ produce bins. Let's start by building one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then we need a small bins. Well, make it more symmetrical. I'm gonna build the small bins like that. Must be right. Stock shelves. Go to stock shelves. We got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, I have one too much. Let's leave this. That looks good. Alright, so that'll be our food area. And let's just buy these lands. And then we need... What more do you need? What more do we need? We need to sell beans. Beans and baked goods. So we need seven, seven of these. So let's make the shelves the similar, look the same. One, two, three. That'll be the beans. Or I can do like this. Hmm. I have an idea. Yes, I mean the food store can be a bit larger. So let's make it a bit larger then. By doing like this, by making doing some shelves over here. One, two, three. 
One, two, three. We can, in fact, make this door a bit smaller. Doesn't need to be that large, you know. We move everything one space up, so it becomes a bit more spacious for, the, for our customers. And let's start by moving everything up like this. So we can make get more space for the shelves as well. Alright, so that'll be one, two, three, four, five. That'll be the baked goods area. And then we need beans. Four. One, two, three, four. There it is. And I'm gonna sell our beans over here. It looks a little bit weird, to be honest. Uh, but it works, it works. I hope. Yeah, it works. It works fine. Alright, what more do we need? Let us see, let us see. So now we sell the beans, the food, nothing else, nope. Uh, we got freezer, one, two freezers, four of those, and six of those. Alright, so two freezer. So we need the freezers. Let's put the freezers. We need two freezers. Now one, we only need two of those, so let's put... One, two. Let's, I, I guess I'm gonna put those there, so it looks a bit better there. Like this. That's right. Now we need one, two, three, four, five. Six. Really? One place further out. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then two of these over here. Cool, cool. And then our freezer bins. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so this is our food store right now. It looks quite decent. Could be better, could be worse. I would say it's fine. Although it's quite a little space right here, we would want more space around here, so what I could do is just move everything uh, further back. Alright, there we go. You now moved everything around a little bit, and it looks quite decent. I would maybe change the floor color. What if you make this kind of color? Kind of floor? That looks beautiful. Now it looks like a, a real food store in here. Everything should be moved a little farther back. Or we can do a different in a different way. We can move shelves further back. So where you enter, it's gonna be more spacious and you can walk there still a little bit more space here, but I think it's fine. All right, so I want more windows around here. That looks good. This is now our food store. Let's fill up with some walls all around it. And let's decorate it inside. So, number one, we want better decoration, so we can get good decoration rating, and also we want it to look good at the same time. Having fountains in the corners, for example, is good for decoration, but I don't think it looks good. Actually, it didn't look too bad, but no. It's a large pot of plants. This looks nice to have in the corners. Should have had more space here, to be honest. You could also use cactuses. I feel like they actually fit kind of well into this setup. Let's find these flower, these other other plant skin, and let's put some of these large ones in the corners, like this, and maybe a small one as well. Is the same creation, and I think we are good. We want a hanging pot plant. I think. I want to do right here and do it here. And we can't forget, we need our ceiling with the little cool thing around. So we could do the lighting. What kind of lights do you want in a food store? I feel like these kind of lights are the ones I expect in large ones. And the, flu the, the drop ceiling lights, yeah. And the fluorescent light is the better in the small ones. Ceiling fans could work, but I don't think so. Do these like that. Great. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, we need. I think. We, yeah, I feel like we need something around here, but I guess it's fine. Fountains look odd, but 
It's for decoration purposes. Don't bully. Don't uh, bully me. All right. Now I bought an electric semi truck because it makes everything so much easier, and it's fastest front door. Like, look at this. Holy moly! And the thing, like, <laughs> hanger is like, it's, like swinging around. <laughs> Bang! It's like so weird. All right. Okay. We need to check what we want to stock. I think I'm just gonna um, pause my manager for a second, so he doesn't buy all the items. Okay, no instant delivery. Well, if it's if there's no instant delivery, then it's quite good. And that means that everything else is empty, right? Yep, that is true. <laughs> all right, of course. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I guess we're gonna get a lot of pie. <laughs> or it in another way and delete those and give it more space that means we can also move these in my opinion let's just buy something i don't know where where do you find it I, the manager's gonna fix it low truck all right just gonna suck into the truck like this beautiful and i can't even drive it oh my goodness <laughs> holy this electric semi truck, it needs some fixing, to be honest. Do we have a garage? No, we actually, we actually don't. Okay, so we need a garage as well. Let's uh, build a spot over here for the electric for the semi truck. Uh, this is not nice and clean. There we go. I play a lot of farming simulator, but I'm still not good at the backwards driving. There we go. And out, oh, out they go. <laughs> the boxes. What do I have in my? Oh, well, I think we filled up everything. Oops. How many restocks do we have? Okay, so we haven't lost. We have two restockers. I think we need another one because of the food store. Maybe not. No, we don't need another restock. We definitely need another restocker. Welcome, Donna Morgan, to the store. Now. Uh, time to set up the delivery drivers. I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I've learned to uh, to now. If you go to the worker settings, we got to hire a delivery driver. It will be Chad Wood, a, a mega Chad. Uh, we're gonna assign a truck to him, and every single truck, it's gonna tell you. Oh, so we need a specific amount of tiles as well. So for the truck to work, you need a specific amount of tiles, in like length. For this electric semi, it's 15, and I made 14, which means I got expanded by one more tile. So I'm just gonna delete this and build one more tile further back, so the truck will be able to actually park on the plot. If uh, there's not enough tiles, it's just gonna say, "Oh, sorry, uh, there's not, sp it's no space for the truck or something like that." And uh, every single truck has a different amount of storage, which uh, will be delivered a minute. With furniture setup, I suggest not using um, pickup trucks, or I mean uh, delivery drivers, in the beginning, because it's quite inefficient. Uh, as you know, one furniture item is like 200, uh, uh, 250, so it takes up a lot of space. So I rather just uh, tend to go for instant purchasing instead. And eventually, after you earn a lot of money, you can use a semi-truck and do delivery drivers with a semi truck, so several delivery drivers, right? Right now, I'm just gonna sign the electric semi truck since I have it. Uh, right now, it's just gonna say it's on the route to the store. It's now unloading at the store with whatever was inside. Now it left, it's gonna go down here. It would have been cool for actually to drive on the road and stuff, and you can see it down there. Fortunately, you can't, but in one minute, it will come back with the amount of items that are the loading dock. So right now, when you then, let's say I buy 20, 50 canned food, it's gonna go to the loading dock as you see, and the truck is gonna pick them up. Because right now, and when I instant deliver, it's the same as usual, they're gonna instant deliver to my store. So it's it's not too advanced. Oh my goodness, I have a lot of cars. Uh, it's basically just assign uh, the delivery driver to your store and you're basically good to go. You, you just let your manager do your work. You're a manager now. You can also, yeah. Also, another new thing you can assign how much you want an extra. 
Uh, I'll keep it on 150 for better flow, I guess. Uh, but because I keep it at 150, I need a lot more storage. So it's time for me to build more storage over here. Uh, doesn't matter how much. Uh, well, at least I have enough storage now, I think. <laughs> 7,000. Uh, I think that's enough. Because uh, the jewelry doesn't take up too much space. The furniture does, and the electronics doesn't really. But let's go through our new... Newly created food store. All right, we answer. Ooh, mmm. I can just I smell the fruit. Ooh, different. So many different flavors. We got apples, pe hey, pears, pears, tomatoes, grapes, oranges, melons, lots of things. And uh, yeah, of course, we got our vegetables, corn, onions, potatoes, and stuff. And ooh. Look at this. Pies. We got pies. Wait, we got pies here as well. We can sell pies too. We got loads of pies. And we got... Ooh, that's a lot of donuts. And a lot of bread. That's a lot of bread. Wait, wait. The pies work in both. So right now, I just have also pie. Hmm. Oh! I almost forgot. Freezers. We need milk. Ooh, important. But since we technically don't need that many pies, uh, we could. Uh, and we can get more breads and more donuts. Ooh, look at this. This is lots of stuff. Ooh, my goodness. Oh. Imagine this is a dream of um, this is an Ameri every American stream. No, I'm sorry, and every American policeman's dream. Donuts, of course. And over here, we got our beans. We got beans, beans, bean, bean beans, good beans. No, good beans. Wait, what? <laughs> What's up with the heads? <laughs> and Shambell's elongated chicken noodle soup, and we got the dope. Possibly fruit salad. I, I can't. I am an overwhelmingly large amount of syrup. Probably not good to actually eat this stuff. Well, I'm. People are gonna do it anyways. Um, and then we got the hunted pured tomatoes. These are like the tomato kind of things you need if you're gonna make uh, spaghetti and stuff. Eggs, cabbage, and carrots, and pies, of course. We wanted the pies cold and not warm, so we could get more, more bread. <laughs> I love bread. All right, that is the new food store. Tell me, yeah, it's a new food store. Simple and easy. Now this was the fifth video of the gameplay video, and uh, tell me down below whether you want more of these kind of videos. A lot of people ask for them, so I think that I should keep on making more gameplay videos because they might be entertaining at some times other times like jewelers Star Wars personally say it was a bit boring uh, no offense to myself um, but yeah uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video don't forget that we have a discord server and that server you can have personal conversations with me and other players in the community you can ask questions get answers and also, sometimes, if I need members to make videos, to participate in videos, you can become a video participant in the Discord server and participate in videos. Also, as you know, we reached 1000 subs now actually a few weeks ago. It's crazy how long, how quick time go goes by and also how much, how fast we are actually increasing in, subs in subscribers. It's crazy. We climbing we're speed running to youtube <laughs> but uh so don't forget hashtag giveaway down below and you get a chance to enter and or not not a chance to enter but a chance to win 1000 robux uh, the giveaway will end next time i get a transaction of 1000 robux on roblox because well yeah <laughs> so um that will be in like three weeks so in three to four weeks that the giveaway will end and I will announce the winner of the giveaway. Anyways, hope you found the video informative, interesting and fun to watch. And I will see you 
in the next video. Peace.